fan to help me do that. Thank you. So what's up? Thank you. What are we making today? Uh, see, your energy has just rubbed off on me now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah, dancing, but I don't know how I'm to dance. I'm seeing this on the table. <laughs> okay, you know, this is um, spicy beef, beefy pasta. Spicy beefy pasta. So hmm. it's just pasta Mouthful. with lots of beef, very spicy and huh? utterly delicious. Ah, oh, that's the best part. Delicious. Yep. Part. So yep. what are we making use of? So we have macaroni. Okay. Yeah, we have beef, which are pre-boiled because of time. Okay. Then we have sliced tomatoes and okay. pepper underneath. Then we okay. have plantain. My favorite. I know. <laughs> then we have green bell There's peppers. never a conflict meal without plantain. Do you eat about plantain? Okay, let's go on. So let's, uh, I can. You see? Yeah, yeah. Zip. 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 We have cucumber so basil for be? garnish. Okay. Then we have onions. Then we have my special seasoning. Yeah, yeah. Secret. Secret. I don't know. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> then we have um, vegetable oil. Oh, yeah. Garlic. Yeah, garlic. Yeah. Okay. Grated already. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically it. So it's, what's in here? This is um, oregano. Oregano. Yeah, okay. for flavor, spice, and okay. all that. Okay. Yeah. Tomatoes and oregano, they yeah. always go very yeah. so well. So we have, we're going to use curry and thyme and. What's this called? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. That bring back them, okay. bring them all out. Okay. Yeah. So what's the cooking process? Uh, first and foremost, we need to fry the meats. After okay. frying, while this is boiling. Do we start with frying the meats now? Uh, yes, we can. Okay. We can. So we're going to start with frying the meats. Go, okay. go, go on. Go okay. on with the description. So, the, well, fry the meats. Okay. Then make the sauce. Okay. You will have boiled your pasta aside. Okay. So once the, you will boil it to finish level. You're not boiling, you're not pre-boiling. So it's boiled okay. to finish level. Okay. Fry your meat, fry your sauce. Okay. Then uh, well, we have our beef broth. Okay. We're going to put into the sauce. Okay. Then gradually incorporate the cooked pasta into the sauce. Okay. Gradually. Okay. That sounds like a lot of work. Oh, uh, well, not really. Are you I sure? think we can make use of a pan. Yeah. This, yeah. this I was actually putting this aside for the pasta. Yeah. 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 So we'll boil the like pasta mine. and then we'll fry. Okay. Like yes. mine. Okay. So that's frying the meat, the meat and the plantain, right? We're frying them immediately. Yes. Or the plantain will be much later. Much later, because that's like the last. The plantain is actually like a garnish. You don't really okay. need to add it. So okay. that much that once the, the meal is ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're focusing on frying the yes. meat now. Yeah. Okay. So that is like a test. So you already explained the entire process. Yeah. Now, um, some people will tell you that when you're cooking pasta, yeah, you should pre-boil, then drain the water for certain reasons. Is that necessary? It's not necessary. You're just going to end up with a very mushy, soft, gooey stuff. Because you it, pasta cooks very fast. So why do you want to go through that process? Of I, I, I hear a lot of, oh, you're cooking pasta, oh. you're cooking rice, you're cooking uh, just any kind of pasta. You, can, you spaghetti. You could actually macaroni. do that with rice because rice is hard and it cooks. It takes a longer cooking time. But for pasta, it's like it's like pre-boiling noodles. Even spaghetti? Yes, yeah, spaghetti. It's like pre-boiling. Oh, people pre boil noodles. No, You'll be saying, amazed. No, People really? actually do. I've seen it. Like they, they will first uh, put it in water, mm -hmm. then drain the water. Just yeah, I remember because of the starchy oh. uh, taste. You are still to... getting all that calories into your body. So yeah. he that is down needs fear no fall. Just <laughs> eat it. <laughs> just no. eat it. If you're down, you need no no. You need not yes. even care about calling anymore. You're, you're just... already cooking it, so just eat it and deal with the calories later. <laughs> okay. All right. So our uh, pasta. Special pasta. This one is beef, spicy, spicy beefy beef. pasta. Okay, spicy yeah. beefy pasta. You could actually use spaghetti. You could actually use. Um, you could use noodles. Don't interrupt my thinking <laughs> process. So I'm thinking for every spoonful, I get one. You get the piece picture. Of beef. Okay, that's it. So you know, I'm the only one eating today. Everybody voted me. It's an anniversary, like, Mary. Yes, but well, everybody <laughs> chose me to eat all the food for them. Proof. Show me proof of your working. Um, and I'll show you gotcha. later. I'll gotcha. show you tomorrow morning when I finish the food. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. so uh, what other things can we include when making this meal? Okay, maybe if you are a bit, because some people are against beef, okay. you can actually use um, chicken breast, okay. which is firm. So it becomes spicy chicken breast pasta. <laughs> spicy breasty pasta. PG rated. Okay, so, uh, so <laughs> besides that, what else do we make use of? Okay, you could use... Shrimps? Okay, you Does could it use work shrimps. with shrimps? Yeah, you could use shrimps, but... Oh, you don't sound convinced with the shrimps. Mm, no, no, no. 
know, I think um, seafood have a tendency to disappear into the meal, except you're using tiger prawns, okay. which is still big and firm. But for shrimps, they are very small, so you need a whole lot for it to come out and go with every spoon or every okay, fork. Okay, okay. So beef is more... It, it's and you know, shrimps, they're quite expensive as well, exactly. so you also need to worry about yeah, that. You could use liver. Which is fine. Okay. Liver is firm okay. as well. Okay. Yeah, they could use. You, you could use sausages. Could you? Yeah, you could. Okay. okay. So anything firm. Is yeah, better. you could use snails. Gizzards. I'm a lover of snails. I think Mike is a lover of snails. Yeah, no, Mike is a lover of food. It doesn't matter if it's snail <laughs> or not. So as long as it's something. Yeah, curious. you could use snails too because they are firm. Just something that would not just melt into the chicken. If you're going to use chicken, that like like I said, you have chicken to be breast. Very careful. Yeah. Perhaps going to, fry it. Yeah, fry it. Yeah, to okay. get it firm and okay. introduce it last. Okay. But with beef, you can introduce it at any time once it's fried because it's very firm. Okay. Okay, yeah. so frying and then um, we get everything ready. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a one pot dish, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it's kind of because once you make the sauce, everything just, just almost, goes in. Just starts yeah. going so in. Yeah, everything is ready yeah. there. So, yeah. and then of course, we have the plantain to gather. See what I did? I spiralized. Them. Yeah, no, I saw it. I she, said, oh, she was probably I, I, having I showed some love this. to plantain. Some people and plantain. Hey, up mm. there. It's, it's, it's <laughs> like, okay, I won't go to do it again. Let me just keep quiet. It's zip. <laughs> zip. <laughs> All right, so we're looking forward to having this delicious, spicy, beefy pasta. Yep. This is our Wake Up Nigeria second anniversary special. <laughs> and it's courtesy Chef Ofe. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Series Pink, yeah. aka Dodo Gag. <laughs> like, how many hashtags do you have? So many. We have lost counts. Mm. I have, uh, some people call me hashtag Shakara Queen. Because ah. of my signature dish called Shakara Rice. Okay. Have you ever had that? Oh yes, you've made it here before. No, I haven't. It's a trade secret. No, no you made it here before. Shakara, Shakara, Shakara rice. rice. No. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I did a lot. I would no. no. No, no, You no. That day you mentioned Shakara Rice. No, I said I used the spice for Shakara Rice. Uh -huh. Shakara Rice is my trade secret. Uh -huh. It's not going public. So yet. you use the spice for the Shakara Rice, not the Shakara no, Rice. No, no, no. Worry. It's I'll not going public it. yet. I'll learn how to make it. So um, that's it for now. Uh, we'll yeah. just have to get the, to the uh, meats uh, fried. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's just about it. Yeah. That's uh, about talking it. about uh, making our breakfast today. Yep. Mm, okay. Yep. Uh, so do we have to use this for garnishing as well? No, no, no. We're frying this up. Oh, we're frying yeah, this. So, but so the pasta doesn't look too blare and bland. So we need some color. So that's why we slice the tomatoes. Okay. No, no matter how much you fry tomatoes, when you're actually cooking, you're going to see strands yes. of meat in it. Oh, so that's exactly. the whole idea that you're using a, a blended mix, which okay. just give it uh, like a jollof color. We okay. don't really want that jollof color. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll definitely have to boil the pasta. Right? Yes, yeah. We're just waiting for this to heat up. Okay, yeah. okay. Then we'll get some water in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So uh, we'll continue with the cooking process, of course. Uh, we'll show you much. Uh, more later and yeah. uh, we'll give you the update so far on what we've done. She's preparing our second year anniversary special yep. breakfast. Mm. And I, I tell you, you it's to yummy you. already. I thought you're not going to talk to me. You well, forgot, we'll, we'll continue forgot. after. We'll you continue forgot. the beef after this. We'll continue <laughs> the beef. So you see, uh, we have begun the stir fry process, okay? Yes. Uh, as you can see here, our pasta already cooked. is all cooked, mm -hmm. ready for us to stir it in when we're through with the stir yeah. fry, that is. Uh, so this is our plantain, already all fried. fried, nicely brown, looking really tasty and delicious. Mm -hmm. Look at our beef, it's been fried. fried. And in case you're wondering, just tuning in and you're wondering what we're making today, it is a spicy, beef. beefy pasta. pasta. Like there's a lot of EE -E today because everything's going to be yeah. really lovely. Okay, <laughs> uh, so so far what have we done in here? So in here, first and foremost, we've had the vegetable oil, then we fried our onions yeah. and um, grated garlic. Okay. Then I put in the sliced tomatoes and pepper, fresh okay. pepper. Okay, so what happens next? So we're waiting for this to fry out and... How long will it take to fry? Uh, because I know we've been doing that for it for about two minutes already. Yeah, maybe let's say another ten minutes because we need all the water to dry out. Okay. To dry out totally. Completely. Yes, because any additional water, so we're going to put in beef broth, which will dry out again. Oh, we're, we're still going to put this. Yes. Uh -uh. Yes. Where's the beef broth? It's back. There. Okay, so we're yes. going to put in the, the beef Once broth. Once this is dry. And it will also dry out yeah, again. But not totally. Just dry out to a bit. A, Thick fluid, not very light fluid. Okay. So once that is done, we add our spices, seasonings, then we incorporate the... Okay, so what spices are, are, are we putting so in? So in there we have curry, we have nutmeg, we have um, we have salt, salt. and we have thyme. 
Okay. Then he has my secret seasoning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before she starts with her shakara. You can you can actually use seasoning cubes if okay, you don't want to go. Want. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. I know there's a dupe in there, but I won't say more than that. No, there's no. There's Are you serious? What was the color? You can't guess. Don't even try it. I'll figure it out. Don't well, even let try. me know. Let me know. Review your trade secrets <laughs> on there. So this is actually for garnishing. That's for the side, so you can yes, have a and the cucumber and the cucumber as well. Yeah. Uh, this is going into the sauce. Yes, though. just for it. Okay, for so the let, the let's color. talk about the process. Okay. So, so first when we, this is ready, okay. what happens? When this is ready, once I'm in the broth. when this first water is dried out, we put in the broth, put in our seasoning, put in our spices. Which seasoning goes in first? This. This goes in first yeah, for, in. for like a minute or two? Almost before. immediately. But the salt goes in last because you need to check that your seasoning was balanced. If your seasoning is okay, then you might not need to add additional salt. Okay. But some people don't cook with seasoning food, so you could just go salt straight. Okay, yeah, which okay. is not a problem, which is not a bad thing as well. Okay, yeah. okay. So we put in the, the seasoning afterwards, yeah. then what else? Then the spices, the curry, the nutmeg, and the thyme, and a little bit of oregano. Oregano is kind great of like for a, tomatoes, it's, it's, yeah, anything. Yeah, it's a finishing. Yeah. So this is like a finishing. So this is like, the oregano and the green pepper goes in last, and you see these little onions I left behind, that's for extra flavor. Okay, yeah. okay. Because every time you have anything tomatoes going on, it's always yeah. a great addition to yes, it to put in um, the oregano. Yes, there's a kind of taste, really nice Has taste. One rough thick yeah. yeah, to tomato meals and mm -hmm. all, really yeah. great. Uh, so, at what point does the the pasta so go? Because putting, I know it's a warm yeah, once pot dish. Yeah, put in the spices, the seasoning, we put in the meat. Okay. Let that cook a bit, then introduce the pasta one spoon at a time. Okay. Just letting everything gradually fry out. So see why I said there shouldn't be any water? Because okay. water is going to cook the pasta further to make it too mushy. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So this pasta comes in after we've put in everything. Everything, once you have red, that, that's why I said that that salt will be last. So okay. after you're putting the pasta, you know, the pasta might... We didn't put salt in the pasta, did you? I put a little. a little. That's what I'm saying, that that salt has to be last, so that you, you now have a balance of... You because taste of it. Seasoning, yeah, yes. salt in there, yes. put everything yes. together. Yeah. But the salt there is very, very little. Minimal, yeah, okay. Very, very okay. Little. okay, okay, okay. So great, that's it for you, the spicy, beefy pasta. pasta. Our second anniversary special. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. This looks really good. This so, looks really good. All right, I have a thing for colors when it comes to yeah. food. <laughs> okay. So that green pepper is there to add another additional color. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the orange, the the red as well, yeah. and then the green. Yeah. Oh wow! Wait till you see the end result when we yeah. finally plate it. Yep. You know, as uh, is often said, we Africans we like to see before before we, we eat. eat. Yeah. So you will not only enjoy seeing. Hey, you won't get to eat it. But don't worry, I'll eat it on your behalf and I promise to enjoy it as well. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the kitchen. Yes. Yes. Wow. MC Abe and ah. Segilo Lagre. Exactly. The graceful one herself. <laughs> All right, so today's chef is Chef Ofe and uh, she made this fantastic breakfast. It's called spicy beef pasta. Ah. <laughs> I did you so much. So, Chef Ofe, <laughs> you tell us about this dish. So, it's just basically pasta. You can use spaghetti, but this macaroni and beef pepper all tossed together mm -hmm. with lots of spice mm. and very, so nice on screen, very delicious. Yeah. We've garnished yeah. with fried plantain and sliced cucumbers. As in dough dough. Dough dough. Oh my god. Dough dough. Let's take it this way. Okay. Let's take it this way. It's safer that way. My lord. Okay. Spicy, right, let's take it spicy, beefy. Okay, pasta. So that like the, the the spice is beefy, the pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So and then of course thing. we still Please. have our fruit salad here. Our fruit cake. Our the watermelon fruit cake. cake. The watermelon <laughs> cake. Fantastic. Courtesy nice. Link Fruité. Yeah. Wake up, Nigeria. I got an too. eye on the strawberry. Yes, yes, me too. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So exactly. then we also have this uh, cherry treat cake. Cherry treats. Yes, cherry treats. Okay. Uh, Larry from Cherry Treats sent that in this morning. Thank I would have thought you, so you guys would hold yeah. that cake yes. when you were coming here. Okay. We have a. Could you? Uh, we can. We can. Yes. Yes. Launch into the new year. Yes. 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 <laughs> Please. Right. Right. Not for me. Mommy, you, uh, uh, you first. Mm. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> All right. As they're eating, we have a performer called Campbell. Yes, sir. 
sweetest voice we've heard in a while. Yeah. And he's going to be rounding us off on this anniversary edition. Uh, take it away, Campbell. Entity you like it? Fantastic. Make oh, Thank you. <laughs> Cause we got something brown new for you. Oh, wake up, wake up. Cause we got something brown new for you. Hey, I owe it to this whole today. And what a beautiful cake. Something brown new for you. Yeah. I greet my people, right? That people everywhere, everywhere you go. You just need to be up. You need to wake up. Make sure they watch on for TVC. It's like you are alone. Amazing. Thank you so much for that, Campbell. Thank you. Well done, we're going to round off the show now. Yes, we are. Uh, it's been absolutely yes, amazing. Yes, we got something brand new for. Thank you so much for tuning in for Thank the past you. two years. We love you, Nigeria. We love you. We love you. Yeah. Mike is still with the Shawarma guy, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> 